Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Regina Phelps here joining us once again, our amazing event coordinator and uh, amazing planner at All One Events. She's from Wichita, Kansas, and she's helping those in planning, coordination. Uh, we're talking all types of events and parties, and we're back with her today to see how frantic her life has been, especially during the holiday season. So <laughs> please, first and foremost, introduce yourself to everyone today. Thank you. Yes. Hi, I'm Regina with All One Vera Events. Um, anyone who is interested in um, contacting me, you can visit my website and send in an inquiry. That's www.awenveraevents.com. That's A-W-E-N-V-E-R-A-E-V-E-N-T-S.com. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook at Awen Vera Events. Um, feel free to shoot over an email to um, awenveraevents at gmail.com. Oh, well, thank you for being here, for joining us. I'm yes. excited to have you back. It was great to talking to you last week, and you're back again. Yeah. And I think you're going to do a little bit about the holiday event yes. season, right? Yeah. So a couple of things that we're walking into. First of all, I just want to say how grateful I am. I just finished my last wedding of the year. Yay! <laughs> last year, it wasn't like this. I had weddings all the way up to New Year's Eve, and then I delivered uh, my baby like four days after January 4th. <sighs> So I'm really excited this year that I didn't, I mean, at the time when I was, you know, planning and booking, I was kind of stressed out about it. Like, oh man, I should probably book more weddings. But right now I'm like, this is awesome. I have like six weeks to just like kind of kick it, which is exciting. Yay! Look at you. Um, But two things today I wanted to touch base on is we're getting in, this is holiday season. So we're getting into engagement season. Mm -hmm. Um, This is definitely a season where people get engaged pretty much from now until like Valentine's Day. And then also um, having a holiday wedding. There are a lot of pros and cons to that. Um, There's pros and cons to picking any wedding day. I mean, there is. But when we're talking about Thanksgiving wedding weekend, the pro I think a lot of people immediately think of is like, oh, all my friends will be in town and we'll have family in town. And it's a, you know, peak time of travel. That's true, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yes, people are going to be there. But people might also just not be, you know, similarly, when you talk about Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth of July, people want to go to the lake so that maybe they choose to be with different set of family instead of going to your wedding. So the pro to that is, you know, yes, maybe people will be in town, but the con may be that maybe they won't be. And it's not a personal dig right at you. It's just that maybe they have other family they need to be with. So, you know, as a couple, you need to be prepared for those no's because they may, there may be people that you were just sure would never miss your wedding day. Mm. And they might because it's a holiday. Yeah, it's true. It's hard. That's tough. Yeah. I think sometimes people don't think about all of the aspects of having a holiday wedding. You know, another aspect of it is your vendor team it's their holiday weekend with their family too, right? They're choosing to be away from their family. You're inviting your family to your wedding, right? We all come from a family. So whether it's family we've chosen or family we're born with. And so being sensitive to those vendors too that weekend that they're choosing to spend time with you, you know, on your special day, as opposed to being with their family, I think is also something that's near and dear. It really shows um, what your vendor team is made of Mm -hmm. how much they really care about their clients that they're willing to be away there's a lot of people that just block these weekends out and they're like no and there i mean there are there are venues there's photographers there's caterers uh believe it or not there's caterers and you're not going to see the people you've been working with the entire time building up to your wedding they're not going to be there because they're going to be with their family so it's important to give back a little bit Um, And thanks, especially over Thanksgiving, um, to people who really are going above and beyond to be there for you and make it special, right? Mm -hmm. I think there's something to be said there. If you don't want a lot of people to your wedding, probably have an event, have a holiday party. Like, it's so much around the holidays, unless you're doing it on purpose. And it's probably more expensive, but you probably will get less guests. (laughs) Maybe, but then what if you, that's such a good point too, because on the other side of that, as a con, what if you get a surplus of guests? Did you invite too many guests then like more than your venue can hold, right? Mm -hmm. If your venue's max is 250, please don't invite 500 people being like, 
oh, well, they'll feel bad. They're just going to send us, a, they'll probably just send us some money in the mail yeah. and they probably won't come. Well, what happens if 500 people do come? Can yeah. you financially feed all those people and give them drinks mm-hmm. and give them a chair and a table to sit at, right? Are you going to have people just like standing room only? I mean, oh my gosh, you have to think about that. And I really, I, I say this because I have brides and grooms all the time that are like, but like, how many can you fit? And that's a great question to ask, but how many can you afford? Mm-hmm. Everything always goes back to your budget, right? Like how much can you really afford? How much can your budget take? And maybe you're not the one paying for it. Maybe your parents are. Are your parents going to pay for 500 people? I mean, you need to consider that when you invite these people, you invited them. So you're saying they should come. <laughs> and if they show up, are you going to feed them? Oh. You know, <laughs> you can't be changing guest numbers day of your court your um your caterer is going to be like i don't i don't have enough food for you no they're just gonna say no <laughs> yeah totally mm-hmm. all right so what other pros and cons of holiday events and weddings and planning and holiday parties are you doing some of those too yeah i've got a couple holiday parties coming up which is super fun um i love parties i love weddings weddings are my bread and butter but I love parties because they're smaller, right? I mean, I'll be there for maybe like three or four hours. And it's just, it's kind of like just the reception almost, right? It's just a wedding reception. Mm -hmm. You go in there, you decorate and everybody party, 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 party. And it's like just very busy, a lot of movement and just a lot of fun. There's always so much joy in a party room and, and love. And then everybody leaves and you tear down and you're home, you know, before the kids go to bed. It's great. That's so true, yeah. (laughs) Not as much money in in parties, but uh, still a lot of fun. And, you know, I love fun. That's why I do this. So there's that, too. There are so many pros and cons to having a holiday wedding. Like um, the decor that you get for your wedding, especially if you do it a year out, you can get it for really, really cheap, right? Um, Anytime you're planning your wedding and you're wanting to buy decor instead of rent and you don't want to go down the rental pathway, always check Facebook Marketplace. Always check Facebook groups, Facebook wedding groups in your area. Mm -hmm. There are other brides, you know, nine times out of 10, you're not the first person to go with the theme you're going with or to pick certain attributes of your theme. Mm -hmm. Somebody else, maybe, maybe you're doing it differently than someone else did, but they're selling their stuff, right? And they're selling it for a little less than what you would get from Amazon, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, all those places, right? But it's less. And then you can go and sell it too. That's the pro to that. Now, the con there is you have to store all of those things and keep them and your whole house looks like Mm -hmm. moving day for months. Um, But when it comes to holidays, right? I mean, Hobby Lobby right now has 50% off all Christmas decor, right? Really? So you could go and buy a lot of the stuff that you want, especially the day after Christmas. Yeah. Everything's on sale, right? I mean, Mm -hmm. it's Black Friday right now. We're all gearing up to throw bows at best buy 5 a.m right so you can go and get a lot of your decor really cheap right now if you're planning on having a holiday wedding for next year Mm -hmm. uh, and sell your decor for your wedding you're having this year on facebook to people who are also interested in it so i mean there's pros there too i mean uh, honestly the only con there is storing it i mean i know people who get storage units for all of the stuff that they buy it's incredible incredible (sighs) i i I can't do it (laughs) It's not within me personally. I keep some things, a few yeah. things, but I can't. But, ooh, that's like, I'm definitely not like a decor company, right? I'm not a rental company. But mm-hmm. kudos to all those people who keep all that. I mean, it's insane how much stuff they get. Um, yeah, there's tons of pros and cons. I mean, and you really need to consider those things. You know, like I said, a lot of those go back to your budget. And can your budget withstand all of those things? And your mental health, right? Like if you're not a DIY bride, and I think I've said this before, if you're not crafty, like at home, Mm -hmm. I love crafting. I love crafting. Hobby Lobby is my jam. My girlfriends know that if they're going to go to Hobby Lobby to text me because they're going to say, so I have to go to Hobby Lobby today. And I'll be like, cool, what time are we going? Like I'll rearrange my schedule for Hobby Lobby anytime. Um, So if you're not crafty, like inherently, but you're like, oh, well, I'll just make my own arrangements and things not not a good idea because you you're not gonna like it you know Mm -hmm. i read this article from the 50s and it was like make sure you always wear pearls like for women who are home make sure you always have your pearls on or a nice necklace and a dress just in case your husband gets home vacuum in your high heels you know it's like ridiculous requests of women 
Uh, yeah. Make sure you're always in a good mood to sit down to sew, which is honestly the only thing that they said that's true. Like if yeah. you sit down to sew something and you don't want to be sewing, odds mm-hmm. are it's never going to get done and you're going to like be tearing your eyes out by the end of it and maybe throwing your sewing machine in the trash can. You have to be like in the mood to sew and in the mood to do crafts. And if you're not a crafty person, you're going to create resentment mm-hmm. attached to your wedding day before yep. you ever even get down the aisle. Or you'll create resentment to your wedding party because they don't have time to help you. But maybe they didn't know that when you asked them, right? Yeah. So you always be careful when you're when you're getting into, am I going to buy? Am I going to make? Am I going to rent? You know, and maybe you rent some things, but you don't rent everything. If you like crafting and you love crafting, I still really don't encourage my brides to take too much on because it, it you still have a whole life that you're living right like you let's say you're having a holiday wedding and you're trying to diy everything well let's say that you have a christmas wedding well right now you're dealing with thanksgiving and if your decor isn't done and you've been banking on this time off from work to get stuff done are you really going to enjoy the holidays or are you going to be so stressed out this year trying to get all that stuff done before your wedding next month Mm -hmm. it's a lot to think about it is that's how we hire you. You got to help us with getting rid of that stress, yes, right? Yeah. Just hire a coordinator. Okay. We, we also sub as like counselor therapist, you know, I don't want to say like a, like a priest, but I mean, people do come to me with a lot of their comments and concerns <laughs> throughout the year for sure. Um, so yeah, on the other side of that, it's also engagement season. And I know there's a ton of coordinators out here that will tell me, no, right? But as a coordinator, what I should tell you is when you get engaged, book your venue, book your photographer, book your food. But uh, me and how I run my company is like, I'm so excited that you got engaged, right? <laughs> Enjoy the holidays. You can wait until after January 1st to start planning. You really can enjoy being engaged. I think one of the things that makes guys wait so long to ask women <laughs> if they want, or just couples in general, if they want to get married, it's because they're like, as soon as I ask that person, they're going to go crazy Ah. and just start planning. So don't prove them right. Spend a month or two through the holidays, enjoying them and being engaged and showing off your ring. And then after the first of the year, you can be like, okay, but we really need to like get these staple things booked. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we can move into other things. Let's remind everyone, if you don't mind, how we can reach out to you. We're about halfway through, as always. Yeah, sure. So if you want to get a hold of me, um, I do travel, so it doesn't matter where you're at. I love I love to travel. Um, go ahead and hop on my website. That's awenveraevents.com, A-W-E-N-V-E-R-A-E-V-E-N-T-S.com. I'm on Instagram and Facebook. You can message me on there, too. You can also shoot me an email, awenveraevents at gmail.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. What else should we have in store and know about the holidays? Because, oof, there's a lot of event planning that goes into this. Just curious, uh, like Thanksgiving, what are you doing tomorrow? I host. Okay. Naturally. Oh, gosh. You have so much work to do. I saw a post on Instagram that said, when you go to your your family member's house on Thanksgiving, make sure you compliment them on their baseboards because that's what they're cleaning right now. (laughs) And I was like... Pretty much, yeah. I was on the phone this morning with a friend, and I was using my Swiffer stick thing, right, on on the vents up high, cleaning mm-hmm. all of them and getting all the fans cleaned. I mean, honestly, I plan it out, so I just clean a little bit every day, but uh, it's the cleaning, right? I don't know why. I don't know what that is. I, I blame my mom being an Italian Catholic that I have this, like, I have to, the house has to look a certain way. And I told my husband last night after dinner, I'm going to go lie down. Today was busier than I thought it was going to be. And the, like, I'm pregnant, I'm tired. And I called my mom and talked to her um, at, for just a few minutes. Mm-hmm. And I, you know what I did when I got off the phone? I vacuumed the couch. She <laughs> didn't say anything to me about vacuuming, cleaning, doing anything. We talked about the show, The Chosen. We didn't, we didn't talk about cleaning. Ah. And I vacuumed the entire couch and moved it over because it wasn't quite right in the room. Mm-hmm. And I went to my husband afterwards because I didn't realize that I even did this to myself. And I was like, I said I was going to go lay down, didn't I? And he was like, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, did. yep. And then. <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow I have about 30 Italians coming over to hang out and eat. Um, and we do a traditional Thanksgiving dinner, but Christmas is all Italian food. 
Got so it. tomorrow is the standard, you know, turkey stuffing, um, all all the fixings. And um, yeah, it starts at two. And then whenever the wine runs out really is when we stop hanging out. So <laughs> it just depends. There's like four of us that are pregnant this year. So I guess when the four of us get tired, most of the families will end up going home because we have all the kids. That's so true. Oh, my goodness. God bless you. And you make the time to talk to us today. I can't believe it. Not, never too busy, are you? Nope. Uh-uh. Yeah, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Absolutely nothing. Um, I'm not working. I'm excited. I work all the time and I have yeah. my kids full time. So tomorrow we'll watch the parade together. My niece is coming. She's from out of town from North Carolina. So the kids are going to do that. My dad's coming over. My sister goes to her family's house and I, I have some TV dinners. I'm not kidding. I don't care about Good the turkey. The food. So I'm not cooking. I'm not anything. I'm just going to stay home and I want to clean out my attic. And the attic? Yeah, and I want to clean. I want to put my Halloween stuff away. I never have time oh, alone. Yeah. So the time kids are going to hang out. They may go to my niece's house, which I hope, because um, she's coming up from North Carolina, so her grandma's house. Yeah. I just want to be home alone and do like Hopefully nothing. your niece is listening to this yes, right now because yes, then yes. she can come and get the kids. She knows that you're hoping She's for. coming tonight. She's she's <laughs> she's already here from North Carolina, but she's going to come sleep over, do the parade, and then her – so her grandma's up here, so she they want to – they're going to hopefully hopefully take the kids to their house so I don't have to. So do you you don't go down to the parade? I mean, I would assume that no, that's No, I've done that before been... and it's crazy. But yeah, not tomorrow. Yeah. Not tomorrow. No, no, no. Not, you just yes. sit and watch it at home We're on the TV watch like it at everybody home. else. Exactly. Which I think is good enough. Yeah, I think that's plenty, right? I mean, totally. that, parade, that seemed crazy. Yeah. It's good to know you've gone before. It solidifies that it's yeah. insane down there. I mean, I believe that. Absolutely. So I'm excited about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> keeping it simple. <laughs> ah. I love that for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's 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 a great thing to just do nothing, right? I did that for Christmas last year. We were I was so pregnant, and I was like, man, I don't. First of all, I just don't want to get sick, mm-hmm. and I stayed home. And I not that I don't get some FOMO, like I do want to kind of like go and hang out with people and see them and give them hugs. But at the same time, like I sat and did nothing but watch like Chevy Chase vacation and like hung out with my children. And like that was our last Christmas, just the four of us before William was born. And I, honestly, best choice I've made in a while. Mm-hmm. I was really it was awesome. It was. And I think it kind of centralized the reason for the season for us. You know, we were we got to spend some quality time together and just recharging myself. Like I said, I still had a couple weddings at the end of the year last year too. So recharging myself and just giving my body some rest, it's it's crucial. So kudos to you to shut down, recharge. Thank you. I need it. I need it. Work-life balance, right? <laughs> we could do a whole podcast on work-life balance. Totally. Absolutely. <sighs> Y'all are terrible. But I don't know anybody who's good at it. Like I, I'm just selfish and I like to be on vacation or at the pool. So I definitely have some better balance than others, but it's not perfect mm-hmm. by any means. Oh, gosh. Well, thank you for that. What else did you want to share about your world, your event planning, and how you can help us? Sorry, we were digressing, but that's okay. No, no, no. So, yeah, I mean, if you're out there, I've said this on every episode, if you're out there and you are planning, it's super important that you ask for help. I know that when I give consultations, they're always free. They take about an hour and it gives, I go through every single vendor you can think of, whether this is a party or a wedding, I go through every vendor you can think of for any event. And we see, are you even interested in putting one of those vendors on? Not everyone wants a photo booth. Not everyone needs a party bus. Not everyone needs a videographer. So do, or not everybody has alcohol at their mm-hmm. wedding, right? So There's different things that we talk about. It gives me an idea of where you're at in your planning process. I give you some direction on where to go when you leave, right? Um, Usually you get at least one or two vendor contacts. So even if you decide, I just don't think I need a coordinator, it's still helpful. It's still helpful to know, hey, am I on the right track? Am I doing this right? Are we way behind? Are we even going to be able to make this wedding day and get this stuff planned? Like how bad do I need a coordinator or do I not need one at all? I think a lot of questions can get answered just asking for help and taking that consultation time. It's important. So if you are out there and you want help, go out and ask. I'm not the only coordinator on this planet. And I love that it's becoming more and more accepted it's it's not just for the wealthy people to have a coordinator my smallest package is 750 dollars for eight hours of work and that's for here locally i won't travel for that price i just can't i don't even know if you can buy a plane ticket for that price anymore but um 
I, I do that here locally and I know there's people in anybody's area that are reasonable and can help you. And they'll just make sure that your day goes exactly the way you planned it or your party goes exactly the way you want it to. So you can be engaged with your guests and your family can be engaged with your guests and they're not working. Yep. Uh, it's super important. Well, I love this. I love what you do. And I wish I could pa- plan parties and do stuff like that. But then are you over, overly stressed and overwhelmed? or But then you still have It doesn't host- stress me out. See? It does not stress me out one bit. Like I have 12 brides next year that are all planning packages. Mm-hmm. And we're, I'm planning all of their weddings right now. And I'm not one bit stressed. I'm just not. I mean, I do this all the time. So for me, I'm like, oh, I look at their the documents that we share together and what they have booked and what they don't have booked and where they're at. And I can tell you every one of them and where they're at and where they're, when their wedding date is and what we need to be working on. Honestly, most of my brides, I'm like, listen, if you're going to make a decision before the holidays, I want you to do it today. Like I told them today, Wednesday, the 22nd, their decisions need to be made. And then they need to shut off that bride switch and enjoy these holidays. We can pick this all back up at the beginning of the year. We have a really big bridal expo uh, the second week of January. And it's like, Go to that expo if you're questioning people that you've already booked or mm-hmm. uh, which I hope you're not. Right. But yeah, right. if you are or if you have other things that maybe you want ideas on, go go do that. And then let's finish booking within the next two months and then we're done. I mean, most of my brides are almost done planning. I just doesn't stress me out because it's it's like there's a uniformity to it almost. So for me, I do it all the time. I mean, it's so important to have fun when you're doing it, too. You only get to do this one time. I agree. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Let me ask you this. What happens now? Holiday season comes. Do you Mm -hmm. have like a lull in business? Like when, when is that? Well, so I have a lull in business. No, I can't say that everybody does. Like I have coordinator friends who are coordinating, um, well into, into January. And I don't know if people know this, but like, for example, Catholics, once we get into Lent, those 40 days, they don't do any weddings. So you've got about a month and a half okay. where there's no weddings. And uh, I mean, there's just less. There's some, but it's a lot less. So that's kind of a quiet time for us to leading up to Easter. And then after Easter, it's crazy, at least here until through June. Got it. July is so hot here. I mean, it's like, sometimes 110, 115, the heat index. So no one's like rushing for July. July is like all the other dates were booked. And so we're going to do July or everything's indoors. So we're doing July. But July is not some knockdown drag out month that people want. Mm -hmm. It's really not until halfway through August that we start seeing another pickup again. And that goes until the end of the year, pretty much. I mean, gosh, well, we got to remind everyone how we can reach out to you. And if you do, do me a favor, um, uh, tell us if someone does have questions, they can contact you and uh, yes. offer initial consultation, right? Yeah, let's do a consultation. It's like maybe an hour of your time. It's free, right? Maybe you don't need me at all, but what would it hurt just to get some some opinions and perspectives on the questions you already have? Yeah. If you need to reach me, go on my website, check it out, look at the reviews on there. You can totally send in an inquiry and my packaging and what's included in each package is on there as well. My website is awenveraevents.com. That's A-W-E-N-V-E-R-A-E-V-E-N-E-N-T-S.com. And you can reach me on Facebook and Instagram at Awen Vera Events. You can message me on there. Um, shoot me an email, awenveraevents at gmail.com. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Pleasure having you here and looking forward yes. to the next time we get to connect. Thanks again. Yeah, see you next week. You got it, sweetheart. Enjoy that holiday and you happy too. cooking, happy hosting, and happy Thank drinking you. some of that wine. I, I, yes, right, great you wine mentioned wine. Me. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Have a great day. You too. Bye bye. Bye, hon. <laughs> Hi, I'm Regina, the owner and operator of Awen Vera Events at 316-299-8046. Are you or someone you know planning a special event? Awen Vera Events is a planning and coordinating company that can help you throughout your planning process. It is my passion to bring your idea to life. Call Awen Vera Events at 316-299-8046 or visit our website at awenveraevents.com. At Awen Vera Events, we take pride in being there for your special event. How can we help you today?
Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Started off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly, it's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed... could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council.